Hello divers, welcome back to our channel. It's really nice to see you again, and if you are new, it's really nice to meet you. My name is Aitor, and I'm part of the team at Azul Unlimited, where we teach all things scuba diving. Today, I'm gonna help you to set up and secure your alternate air source into your BCD. So, I'm gonna show you five different ways to secure your alternate air source and become a better diver. So, why do I believe that it's important to make a video about how to secure the, the alternate or the octopus? That is because as a professional diver, almost in every single dive of my life, I, I've been seeing divers with the octopus floating around, uh, dragging on the sand, touching the coral, and for safety reasons, for you, for the environment, and for your uh, bodies, it's important to know how to secure the ultimate. So, on the diving industry, we have several rules that apply for the octopus. One of them is that must be easy to release, must be a quick release, just in case somebody runs out of air, or you need to donor air really quick, must be a quick release, or an easy way to remove it. Second rule is, doesn't matter if it's coming from the right, from the left side of your body, but the octopus must be placed on the triangle that we make with the chin and our hips, on that triangle on the front of our body, okay? And last is the color, or the way to identify the octopus is much easier if we have a different color, like yellow, also the hose normally is in a different color and a little bit longer than the hose for the main, from the main regulator. So the first option to secure your octopus that is not available on every uh, single PCD but mostly on the rental equipment or basic PCDs is the pocket that came integrated on the PCD. As you can see here on the side we have a special pocket that says octo so we just need to bend the hose Put it inside, okay? Can go all the way in, and now make sure that the mouthpiece is facing down. So when you jump in the water, the regulator will not free flow. If you jump with the regulator on that position and with the perch bottom facing the water, by the time to jump in the water doing a giant stride, the bottom will hit the water and you will have a free flow. So make sure you just turn it around and put it facing down. So by the time to donate the regulator of if somebody is running out of air and they need to grab it, it's really easy to pull an offer. Cool. The second way to secure your octopus is with those silicone or uh, rubber holders. So they are really easy to place in any D ring on the VCD. Just put it through inside. And then you just need to open it and squeeze the mouthpiece inside. I'm not a big fan of those kind of uh, holders because they break really easy and at the end they are plastic and we are wasting uh, plastic, you know. Normally they break when you release or you pull the octopus from them because as you see you need to, to pull quite, uh, quite hard. Also, another variation, just in case one of those get broken, you can use the holders for the snorkel, the one that you use on your, to hold the snorkel on your mask. So, works pretty much the same, okay? You just need to put it through the hole, okay, through the D-ring, and then just put it inside. Mouthpiece go inside, but also they are plastic or silicone and they break with the time so we don't want to to create more waste okay so this is my third choice for today and i really like those ones especially today with the problem that we have with covid and, and infections because the mouthpiece once you clean your hands you put it inside will be protected okay so the mouthpiece will be not touching anything around or nobody can touch the, the mouthpiece so in case you need to offer uh, somebody need a rescue at least you know the mouthpiece will be will be clean and disinfected 
So let's go with number four. This is the one that I've been using for a long time here in, in Azul, in our shop. They are from Scuba Pro. So what we have is like a, like a clamp that holds around the, the mouthpiece, okay? Something like this. And then you have a double clip that goes inside the mouthpiece, okay? So it's extra secure. So they will look like similar like this. So they clip around the mouthpiece and then the secondary part inside the mouthpiece. Really secure, really safe, and also they don't break really easy. Yeah? I have them for already like three years and they, they look like new. So for the last one, we have those kind of clips that personally I hate them so much. You can imagine how much I hate them. And because they are difficult to place, you need to go like with the hose, kind of throw inside, bend it, it's awkward, it's, I don't know, for me it's very uncomfortable. But why do I want to show you those ones? Because I'm gonna show you an eco-friendly option from one of our friends that we collaborate sometimes. He has a YouTube channel called We Are The Random Bros. And he's a fantastic side mount diver, but also is playing a lot with a 3D uh, printer. So he's printing new holders for the regulators. As you can see here, they are really easy to use. They are super strong. Uh, but the most important is that they are eco-friendly. So when they break, if they break through the dive and they end on the environment, they will disintegrate. So I think, and he is a huge believer of uh, that with the 3D printers, we can improve a lot our equipment and be eco-friendly at the same time. On the description below, you will find a link to the Two Random Bros uh, channel. And um, if you have any question or even if you want to buy those holders, just drop a message on the, on the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick one, but I think it's very useful for you as a recreational divers or beginners to become better diver and be uh, better prepared for the real life in case of uh, accident incidents. So you will be able to provide, help other divers, don't damage the environment, okay? And just in general become a more prepared diver. Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this one with quick tips for beginners or recreational divers. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumb up and see you on the next video. Bye guys! Shit, I almost forgot guys. Did you subscribe to the channel? Come on, let's do it, I gotta go. Let's go, see you!